Responding to people who need help immediately is a constant chess game. We're always trying to think two and three moves ahead with the limited number of fire stations that we have, the limited number of fire engines, lighter trucks. It's critical that they are strategically placed throughout the city. And the important part about responding to people who need help quickly is making sure that all of the pieces are in place when people need help. Firefighters never know when they will be called out to help in an emergency. They must be ready to respond at a moment's notice whenever duty calls. Part of being ready to respond requires continual training in new life-saving tools and procedures. In Asheville, North Carolina, providing frequent training while keeping firefighters at their post presented some considerable challenges. Our traditional method of doing training was to assemble our firefighters in one location and we would have a limitations of space we would have limitations of parking of our large apparatus. We'd have to pull all of our resources to one location to receive uh, training in a classroom. National Fire Department covers about 60 square miles and we have 12 fire stations. In those 12, we have 16 companies. And uh, so we run on average about 15,000, uh, close to 16,000 calls a year. So the old way that we used to do things, we would bring uh, companies together um, more than likely, um, again, because coverage for the city is the important thing. So the way we would manage that is bring companies together at different times throughout the day uh, in different parts of the city. Um, our geography is, is very unique in the, the mountain uh, ranges that, uh, that divide the city from uh, one side to the other. Everything has to go basically through the center. If you want to go from North Asheville to West Asheville, you have to come downtown. So, so those challenges require us to, to really be creative in keeping those companies available and in their areas. To solve these challenges, the city of Asheville needed a way to reach all the firefighters in the region while they remained on duty and ready to respond. After reviewing their options, Asheville decided to take a chance on a startup company called Video. The video system consists of a single appliance, the Video One device. The Video One manages connections between up to 13 simultaneous devices, while the Video Portal software lets users connect from their existing computers. The technology requires minimal network bandwidth while supporting full high definition video quality and desktop sharing tools. The video installation represented a market-shifting innovation that allowed the city of Asheville to solve communication challenges at a price they could afford. The system that we've got cost $25,000 and the value added to our department for that cost, it's hard to put a dollar amount on. There were a lot of ways we could have gone with this system. The traditional video conferencing routes required uh, significant infra infrastructure investment, and uh, that was going to get fairly costly, and at the end of the day, it was going to be fairly limited in its capabilities. We found the video company offered a solution that used standard internet protocols, was able to leverage our existing Cisco networks, and uh, we thought that was going to give us the most bang for the buck. We have seen a savings of, uh, of about $12,000 annually on fuel cost, truck maintenance, and uh, the reduction in instruction, instructional time for those companies. What I like about the video conferencing is the consistency of the message. If you give a message four times, it's very difficult to, to keep perfect consistency. If you're doing the meeting just one time, for instance, for the video conferencing, um, or using the video conferencing, then you can get that one message, everybody gets the message, and uh, it's consistent across the board. The video telepresence system opened up many new opportunities for enhanced communications beyond distance training. Now emergency responders can have reliable two-way video from the field without relying on third-party providers. As the City of Asheville and the Asheville Fire Department strive to continually increase efficiency and provide better service to the public, Citizens will see more technologies used effectively to transform the way we do business and to lower cost for the services we provide.